Facebook is sounding the alarm 100. I'm um, here to share something that, um, well, the Lord wanted me to share with you. And um, it's important. All right. Right here, you can see these two cars parked together. I had a dream about two to three years ago and in my dream um jesus was was walking he want he was standing right here right about here and he had some people with him like a handful of people maybe like three or four maybe five but they're right here and you know i was at the end of the line and he wanted me to go through these cars right here right in between them and i looked and i smiled at him and in my mind i thought is he crazy like i honestly considered that thought is is the Lord, is the Lord, um, God forgive me, but I honestly consider that thought, is the Lord crazy? You know, because how can I go through that spot that was my ridiculous reasoning? How could, you know, because I, it was earthbound, I suppose. But what I'm saying is, my thought was, how can I go through this? How can I really go through these two cars? I, I, I can't. You know, so then I, he looked at me when I, when I said, I, you know, you know, he, when I, when I thought, you know, are you crazy? He looked at me like, like, you know, like saying, Lily, come on, you know, just trust me, something like that, you know, anyway. Um, and what I did was I went around this car right here and it was at the edge of a cliff type hill that I could have fallen into a dark, whatever was down there, you know, and it was so dangerous and I could have died. And then I met him on the other, and the other people that followed him through here on the other side of the car and I went ta-da you know and he looked at me like you could have died you know something could have happened to you that's what he's that's what he looked at me like and then he pointed towards some people that were behind me like two or three and he, and he he was letting me know those people are gonna want to follow and do what you did you know, and he didn't say those words, but it was a knowing that that's what he was saying. Okay? Two or three years ago, and, and still, but two or three years ago, um, that's the end of my dream, by the way. Um, but I want to explain. Two or three years ago, I was under heavy, heavy spiritual attacks. And the Lord, you know showed me how to fight and I was fighting well but at the same and and I was and it was it was really intense really insane attacks and and you know I was like it was just seemed to be a continuous back to back back to back attack you know that that lasted you know every day every month for years and I said oh my gosh do I really need to continue this? I mean, I fight. They leave, but they come back. It was horrid, you know? And that's why I was thinking, you know, let me just chill. I don't feel like fighting right now. I just want to do, you know, to do me. I just I just want, you know, I want to follow the Lord, but I want to, you know, have 
a level of <clears throat> peace, you know, and that's fine, you know, and I did have peace, I had peace, but I had also battles, and, you know, sometimes it was hard to, to gain that, because the battles that I was having, oh my gosh, the spiritual battles I was having, I could have died, you know what I mean, um, I even suffered strokes, hundreds of strokes in the back of my head, and, um, I, I, I saw uh, two fallen angels manifest. And then shortly after that is when I had the hundreds of strokes in the back of my head. I, I went ahead and I went to sleep. You know, I just I just couldn't believe this. I could sit here and tell you about the battle and what I saw and all types of stuff, but it's just so offensive. You know what I mean? That the Lord understood that I couldn't. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't, you know, there, there's a level of things that a person can tolerate and the Lord will not push you to pass that point. But, um, I just, I just wanted space. I wanted, you know, th this battle and training and fighting. I needed a moment, you know. You know, and 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 it's normal to understand that I needed a moment, but it's also it's more normal and wiser to understand that when Jesus says you go through here, that's where you go through, because He said that wide is the way that leads to destruction, and hard is the way. That leads to life, and few there be that find it. Okay, the 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 road to life is narrow. The road the road to follow Jesus is hard. It's narrow. You gotta follow Jesus. You know what I'm saying to you. You don't you don't follow me. You follow Jesus. Okay, and then the other thing is um this channel. Okay, this channel has been about testimonies about things that I have encountered you know in Christ all right I have told you some shortcomings I have told you some high points and some low points you know I've told you some amazing things and everything I've said here is 100 percent but what I'm trying to tell you is that the that if Jesus tells you to go in between those two cars and follow him Right here, you see these two cards? You go in between those two cards, you follow him, you'll make it through because he says you could. You understand? And I, you know, I, I'm, I feel bad that I didn't. You know what I, you know what I mean? I mean, I went and I followed him. Thank God I didn't die. I went ahead and, and, and I met him on the other side. But dang, he was taking them the safer path. And I went, I could have fallen into destruction. I could have died. Who knows? But praise the Lord that didn't happen. Praise the Lord. And and praise the, and I saw and I told him I was sorry and everything. But you know, that's what I wanted to say. The other thing that I wanted to say that I'm not quite sure if I um totally got my point across. Okay, is um because I, I just thought that it was known. I just totally thought that it was known. I mean, we talk about Jesus here, left and right. This is a Jesus place. Um, and I just, you know, I just wanted to make sure that uh, it was understood. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Believes in Jesus, is trusting in him. How do you trust in him? You do what it says in the Bible. There's a lot of people that want to say, oh, I'm going to heaven, oh, I'm going with Jesus. Okay, I, I get it. Alright? Nobody wants to go to hell. But it's not just saying... I'm going with Jesus. That's not just it. You got to do what he says. 
Because in doing what he says, that's when you're shuffling your feet towards him. That's when you're following him. You know, if, if you were living in sin, thinking that when Jesus comes, you know, you can't live in sin and, and think that when Jesus comes, you're going with him. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a lot of people that say, oh, you know, what, you know, if I, it just, it says it right here, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's right. But have you read the Bible? Have you done what, I mean, have you, that just, did you, are you living righteously? In John chapter 14, Jesus tells you that if you love me, you have to follow my commandments. Okay, it's right there, see? If you love me, follow my commandments. And then, um, anything that is unrighteous, fornication, that's sex outside of marriage, adultery, that's sex with somebody else's spouse, or you having sex with somebody else while you have a spouse. I mean, read the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? You you can't lie. You can't do these things. Say I believe in Jesus and and think you're ending up in heaven. You have to make a conscious effort to stop sinning. You have to confess your sins to God and you have to say in Jesus name so it gets to heaven. And you have to say you're sorry. You have to tell him you're sorry. You know, you say, God, I, you know, I did this and this and that. I'm sorry in Jesus' name. And not only that, you have to mean it. And that, and he'll know because you'll consciously try not to do it again. All right, people. You know, um, this is sounding the alarm. Signing out and um, doing this video for Jesus. Thank mm -hmm. you.